You were so great on Top Takes Daily. I'm proud to call you boss. Boss. <laughs> Thanks for doing this, MP. Thank you for having me here. As I'm sure Miss St. Germain explained, Enterprise Monthly's Young Leadership issue is our most celebrated issue of the year. Mm -hmm. Being that we don't usually cover sports in our publication, I'm hoping we can sit down for a few conversations and see if and how you might fit into that framework. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, I know your readers might not typically want to hear from a basketball player, but... Well, my editors think it's worth exploring. Oh, it sounds like you're not sure if you agree. I usually sit down with CEOs talking about mergers and corporate strategy. This isn't a typical assignment for me, to put it mildly. No, no, I, I get it. Uh, MBAs over MBA. <laughs> and full disclosure, I'm not a sports fan. Oh, well, maybe I can make you one after this. I wouldn't hold your breath. That being said, if we want unique viewpoints, we've got to cast a wide net. Well, I guess that makes me the catch of the day. Mm, maybe. <laughs> Just a little humor. So, so far, my research shows that your own fan base was upset the team drafted you and your organization's general manager has left the team due to a disagreement over your fit with the franchise. Yeah, that is all true. It doesn't quite scream cover story to me, and yet, if I ask anybody who knows you to describe you, the first word out of their mouth is leadership. So I'm trying to reconcile those two things. On the one hand, you have an army of people who would have preferred Shep Owens over you, but on the other, you've got a not insignificant number of people who sing your praises as a leader. Yeah, there's been some divided opinion on me, uh, to say the least. Okay, well, why don't we start by talking about your leadership abilities? Okay. When would you say your journey as a leader began? Um, I would say day one. Yeah, day one. Um, <laughs> My mom says that at my first parent-teacher conference, my teacher, Mrs. Woods, asked her to help me understand who's the student and who's the, the teacher, you know? Sounds like you were a handful. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, probably still am, a little bit. <laughs> but I was mostly just an opinionated kid up until my freshman season started. If we could, I'd like to keep the focus off the field. Ooh, uh, on the court, oh, off the court. The court. Yeah. This is a business publication, as I'm sure Miss St. Germain explained. Well, I get that. Um, you know, but I'm still a ball player, you know, so if you want to understand where I'm coming from, the story starts on the court. And if you want to know more about my reputation as a leader, again, it starts on the court. You know, we can easily get into the Ricky Bennett's and uh, my business organizations later, but again, it all starts at the court. Okay, so you're in college. Mm -hmm. You're a star basketball player. Ooh, not yet. Not quite yet. Uh, junior was the star of the team.
Hey, look, you heard what Coach said, all right? Hey, yo, pick your heads up, man. Ten points is nothing. Yeah, okay, we hit a little bump. Junior went down, but when he gets out of the training room, he's going to lead us with an inspiring speech and get us back to victory, okay? That's not ideal. Sorry, guys, I would if I could. Hey, look, a little heads up, man. I'm over here teeing you. Hey, just forget about it. MP, I guess you got some time. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, just don't worry about the score, y'all. MP got this. Yeah, look at him. A deer in the headlight. It's real reassuring. I'm telling y'all, MP got this. We walking out of here with a W, and MP is going to lead us there, right? Yeah. You got this? I got this. All right. And what are we leaving here with? With a win. Let me hear it. A, a win. win. All right, now, Red, lead him out. Hey, come on, y'all. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. You got this? I know. No, you don't. What you mean? All right, it's okay. Look, man, I'm, I'm gonna be just like you out there. Just like you taught me. <laughs> no, you won't. You can't. But you can be you. Look, I see the way that people react to you, MP. Even though you're a freshman, when you do speak up, people listen, that's a gift. Now you gotta learn how to nurture that gift in the only way that you can. However you do it, I do know one thing. You got this. You got this. You got this. I got this. Got I this. got this. There you go. Welcome back to our game. One half in the books. We have a 10-point ball game on our hands as the second half gets going. The Syracuse Orange holds the lead against the Gonzaga Bulldogs. And of course, the big story in this one, Junior injured in the first half and ruled out for the rest of the game. That is a major blow to this team. You know, he does so much on the floor, and I think he's virtually irreplaceable. West for three. It's hauled in by Daniels. And so here's Gonzaga. Trailing by 10. Pass to Thompson. Booker. Now Crawford. He's guarded by West. Boom! He jams it straight down. Here's Miller. He's got 10. Trailing by 10 in the second half. Not an easy task for such a young team to come back from, you guys. How the freshmen respond in this situation will tell you a lot about them. Hopefully they can keep their heads and try to make a game of this. Here's Wolf. He's got 13. Starks. Crawford with the rebound. Unnecessary to go to the fadeaway there. It wasn't needed. Could have just kept it simple and taken the easy shot. Over to the wing. Pass to Daniels. Shoots over Starks. That one wide left. Syracuse in the lead. Now West. Five points in the game. Here's James. The shot's good. West making the play. And that's a good glimpse of Kai's tremendous court vision. Sees the open man and gets it to him before the D has a chance to react. That was a second look at our mobile one drive. Amazing control on display. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Now here's Booker. Nine points in the game. It's Red Thompson on the wing. Just five on the clock. And it's off from three-point range. And with Syracuse, you guys, it might not be the biggest city or have the best weather, but they're a top program. Yeah, some other big-time schools might have had a little more glamour than Syracuse, but it's still a destination for a lot of the country's top recruits. 
They're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Yeah, that's good. Two points. Oh, some solid play from Thompson inside, tracking down that close range look. Outside, West. Let's the three fly. Bulldogs with the rebound. I didn't like that defensive effort at all, but they're lucky he missed it. Yeah, you hope that's not indicative of the type of D they're going to play because if they do, they're going to have struggles with him tonight. Outside, West. Wolf, pass to Miller. West with it. The three. West with another miss. Here's Booker. Foul called that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. First team foul. Don't look now, but with MP, this team is in striking distance. They keep chipping away at that lead. MP has done a great job of filling in for Junior. One thing synonymous with the Syracuse program is stability. Year in and year out, the Orange are racking up a good number of wins. One thing that stands out about Gonzaga, the amount of NBA talent they've been producing, you guys. A few first-round picks, one of which was all-star Demontis Sabonis. Not to mention Brandon Clark, Zach Collins, Rui Hachimura. I mean, the list goes on. The tenacity on that interior, just battling, bringing that effort and will to second-chance group. And the powerful one-hand slam. And here's Miller. Ten points for him. Dennis. He's covered by Jameson. Outside Miller. Pass to Nelson. Puts up a three. It's rebounded by Gonzaga. Guarded by Dean. Crawford. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. The adjustments they've made offensively. They're putting guys in a position now to succeed. It's certainly been an impressive run. They finally found the right formula to break down the defense. And it's Miller missing. And I'm sure next time he sits down, Coach is going to have a few choice words for him with that shot selection. Yeah, there were a lot of other places. Going with the basketball instead of forcing that shot. Boy, what a comeback this has been. You know, MP stepped in for Junior when he got injured, and now it's a brand new ball game. Miller, Booker covering. Back to Dean. That's his first person foul. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Substitution for Syracuse. Gonzaga on D. Outside, Starks. Pass to Wolf. Outside, Nelson. West. Just four to shoot. For three. And again, it's the orange missing. And as you guys said, MP and his team couldn't fold it when Junior went down. They showed a lot of heart with how they rallied. Great job of coming together with their backs against the wall. West with it. Outside, Starks. Pass to Wolf. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. It goes on Thompson. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. So he gets them both. Here's Hawkins. To the paint. Uses the glass to finish the layup. He does not lack for confidence. And he shouldn't. I mean, this guy is a dangerous score. The orange trail. Pass to Wolf. Now here's West. 
Here's James. He's covered by Jameson. Stolen by Jameson. And they're on the break. And he uses the glass on the layup. Looking to make plays for others. We've seen this from him all night. Yeah, he's spoiling us, Greg. I mean, there's just another fantastic dime drop right there. That one certainly should make the highlight reel. West for three. That shot, no good. Now the Bulldogs take it the other way. Here's Hawkins. Launches it. Drops in the tray. Adding to their advantage, trying to find a way to blow this one open. I tell you, there's no substitute for consistency, Greg. You know that, I know it. You can stay in control of the game. They'll stay in control of it if they simply stay good with their execution of the game plan and don't waste any possession. And the shot goes in. Well, you like how aggressive he is making a play at the rim against Lynch. You've got to be clever with your sleight of hand when you get inside and try to finish against the bigger guys. And he made it he, he made it look easy that time. Here's James. Back to Nelson. Pass to Wolf. Six on the shot clock. Jeez. Shot to stop the run. And West gets the three. And this is one of the reasons teams are afraid to face Syracuse, knowing that West is going to be a constant menace on the perimeter. And the Bulldogs call time here. Substitution for Syracuse. Gonzaga leading. To the middle. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Man, he's got a lot of firepower right now. I mean, what a half he's had. Timeout called. The Orange. And no doubt, Coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. I would certainly think so. I mean, if they keep giving up those kinds of easy looks... In Side, they'll be in big trouble. Now, here's Miller, pass to West. And here starts. Called in by Daniels. A good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, they definitely should use some clock here. Down low. Now Crawford. Fades. It falls through, making him 6 for 11 in the contest. And, and ever since halftime, they played precision basketball offensively. There's no, really no comparison between the teams in terms of the way they both shot the ball since the break. Syracuse, no good that time either. One item that stood out, their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking. And more importantly, it makes it really hard to defend.
Gonzaga again with the bucket. And once they smelled blood in the water, you could see the killer instinct take over. Yeah, not taking any chances, Greg. This is how you close a game out. Textbook. West for three. It's hauled in by Daniels. Confident play we're seeing out of them. Yeah, and the scoreboard tells the story. Booker guarded by Starks. From outside the arc. And again, Gonzaga with the triple. Not surprised at all. He's shooting it well and scoring points in budgets. And the Gonzaga Bulldogs will move on. You know, they showed tremendous heart to battle back and get the victory. Had a star player out with an injury, down 10 at the break. But they still got a huge win. And we have to talk about MP stepping in for Junior. Not only did he show promise, but he was sensational as he led the team back for the win. What a showing from the freshman. That does it for our crew here tonight. For Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, this is Forrest Hunt saying so long. Thanks for watching. Hey, look, man, I'm just saying some of those scooters are nice, man. Mm -hmm. Look, we can get yours all tricked out. Yo, what Junior. Try, like, you can roll. Thank you. Yo, wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up. You having trouble keeping up with me? <laughs> just a little bit moving too fast, but nah, man, I just wanted to thank you, bro. Like, for a mental lot that you believe in me, man. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> what you mean, man? You literally just... No, as a captain, it is my job to figure out what our team needs. And tonight, our team needed a scared kid to have enough confidence to bring us back. You're sneaky, man. Good. You're sneaky. Yeah. But after what you did on the court tonight, you shouldn't need my help having confidence anymore. Go celebrate with the team. You learned it. All right? You too? Give me my bag, please. Take this bag, man. I'm just trying to look out for the infirmary. Oh, Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. You heard me, didn't you? I don't want to celebrate with the team. You too. Go ahead, okay. man. <laughs> hey, look. I'm going to hang back, Somebody man. got the big boy pants on. <laughs> About time. Oh, man. Oh, man. Nice game, freshman. Thank you. Uh, Mila. Yeah. MP. I know. I'm the media intern. Yeah, I definitely knew that. Yeah. <laughs> so. Sorry, I... What? What? I don't know. I just... Maybe I've been trying to meet you all semester, and you're finally noticing me, and I'm getting lost in your eyes. My heart's racing. Is this a dream? No, this is not a dream. This is... This is real life. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of corny. <laughs> Sorry, or maybe I'm just trying to exit. <laughs> that too, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's all good. Hey, you're cute when you're embarrassed, though. I'll give you that. No, girl, you're not dreaming. <laughs> bro, bro, she called me. She called me cute. Yeah, she now you're dreaming. Me cute. You're dreaming, bro. 